today, I'm gonna talk about going from zero to hero in as quickly as possible as a young entrepreneur. Play the intro music. It's really important that will help you grow your business. Okay, so when I was first growing my business, when I was 22 years old, I discovered, when I was 22, but really when I was 23 years old, I discovered, in my opinion, and in the opinion of experts like Grant Cardone, the key to becoming financially free as quickly as possible. And I'm gonna share it with you. It's very simple and simplistic, but it's also something that's very important to understand because if you don't understand what I'm about to say, what's going to happen in your business is you're gonna go through periods of gaining momentum and gaining traction and then losing it. And you're gonna go through ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs in your business rather than that con consistent um, up track in your business. I am not saying that you're not gonna go through ups and downs as an entrepreneur because you will. I'm not saying your life is not gonna be difficult because it will. I'm not saying that there's not gonna be challenges and mountains in your way. What I am telling you is that if you apply what I'm about to tell you right now, those mountains that are in your way will be moved because of the power that you have in your business. And so if you wanna be a mountain mover, Listen up to what I'm about to say. If you want to be financially free, listen up. Um, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm not a big shot. I'm, I'm not worth multi-millions of dollars. Like, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that are worth millions of dollars. I'm not. I'm just a kid from the slums of the Philippines that came over to America and took advantage of a great opportunity. Um, and I changed my life. I changed the life of people in my family. And so my mission is to help young entrepreneurs win in not just like one area, but in every aspect of their life. And right now we're talking about business. So, that, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. The key to being financially free or to, to, uh, you know, growing your business as fast as possible. The key is to achieve levels of speed in your business that propels you and consistently gains momentum for your endeavor, your enterprise, your company that allows you to drive past those challenges, obstacles, problems, mountains that are in your way if you have speed in your business, none of those other things matter. The key to being financially free is as simple as speed. Speed is the only thing that matters. Speed is what we as a team, we are, 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 are looking to do every single day. We're trying to go faster. We're trying to put the pedal to the metal to the ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th degree and go faster as a company. Speed wins every single time in the world of business and entrepreneurship. Here's why. The reason why speed wins is because you can have the greatest product in the whole entire world. You can have a product that was sent down from the gods above and landed in your backyard and now you have this product that can change the world and change people's lives and it's the greatest freaking thing ever. But if you don't have speed and you cannot get your product, right? Let's say this is my product and Here's my consumer over here. If you can't get your product to the consumer, it doesn't matter how great your product is. If nobody knows your name, it don't matter how good you are. If nobody is exposed to the value that you're providing, it does not matter how much value you can potentially provide because nobody knows about you. Nobody, nobody has the opportunity to purchase your product, interact with you, get your coaching service. If you truly believe, listen to the words that your brother Tim is saying right now. If you truly believe that your product 
your service, your mission, your motto, whatever the heck it is, if you truly believe that it can change people's lives and it's a powerful, positive thing, then it is your mission, it is your duty, it is your responsibility to the universe and to your family to move forward with as much speed as possible. Duh, right? I mean, I mean, obviously, right? And people are, will watch this video and be like, oh yeah, Tim, I know I need to get in front of my customer. Yeah, I, I, I know I gotta get momentum in my business. Yeah, I know I gotta get speed. But they don't and they won't listen to what I'm about to say because what I am about to say right now here today is something that will not just like open your mind, it will transform the way that you think. It's so easy in today's world of entrepreneurship where everybody's got a podcast, everybody's got their BS YouTube show, everybody's got their thing, right? Listen, podcasts are a dime a dozen. There's there's 10,000 podcasts on Apple Music um, of gurus and business experts spitting their advice about whatever. But what generally happens is we get so inundated with information that there's so much information as entrepreneurs, so much information running through our head, running through your head, that it doesn't result in transformation, right? The information that I get and that I learn, if it doesn't transform my life and if it doesn't like get inside of me, you're, it's never going to work. Do you want to be financially free or do you want to be broke for the rest of your life? If you want to be free, listen to what I'm saying. If you want to be broke, if you want to be a failure, if you want to be a loser, then turn, off, then turn this off. Turn this podcast off. This is not for you. But if you want to win in business and in entrepreneurship, I am telling you, that what I'm about to say will dramatically make a difference in your life, not just in 2019, but for the rest of your life, and it relates to speed. I'm gonna talk about exactly how it works. I'm gonna talk about ways that you can increase your speed. I'm gonna talk about detractors from your speed. I'm gonna give you a lot of value for free that some bum is charging $2,000 uh, for. So save your money. I'm not gonna ask for your credit card. At the end of this, I'm not going to sell you on a webinar, a course, whatever, but I think you should um, go to CardoneUniversity.com and um, buy all of Grant Cardone's stuff, right? I'm not going to sell you that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you value for free, and I hope that if you get any value out of this, you subscribe, okay? Fair enough? Okay. So, um, speed, right? So, let's, let's talk about this. Let's, let's break this down clinically, right? Um, let's, let's pretend that we're surgeons right now and I am surgically examining your business, your enterprise, your, your product, who you are. Okay. There's three major components of achieving speed in your business and transforming your life and reaching your goals. Okay. Um, first of all, let me say this. It starts with belief, okay? I was at a crossroads in my life about a year and a half ago, about, about two years ago. I was at a crossroads in my life. I was at a moment in my life where it was like this right here, right? I'm either going to go this way or I'm going to go that way. And I had to make a crucial life alter life-altering, life-changing decision based on my identity and based on who I believe myself to be, I had to make a decision based off of my beliefs to either go one way with my life or another. And the decision boiled down to my belief about integrity and what that word means. Remember, just because you got integrity on your business card, which I don't on um, that particular thing. I do, I do, I do on my, um, on my website, though. Just because you have integrity on your business card does not mean you have actual integrity. Integrity is 
what you do, doing what you say you're going to do and consistently doing that, not just in month one, but in month 1001, okay? Um, and so my whole life changed when I made a commitment to integrity in in myself, in my core of who I am as an entrepreneur, I decided that for the rest of my life, I am going to strive in everything I do to leave a legacy and not just pursue money. So you have to believe in your product is my point, okay? You have to believe that what you're doing, what you are doing on a day-to-day basis is the most the most pure form of whatever it is that you offer. So for example, for example, if you are a, a, uh, a gym, right? And you know, there's many different types of gyms. There's CrossFit, there's yoga, there's all, all kinds of other stuff. It, if you are a gym owner, you have to believe that in, in, in a, for me, from in my opinion you have to believe that your training methods and the way that you're instructing your clients is genuinely going to change their life and make a difference in their life because there's plenty of gym owners that th- just throw clients on a plan and just have them subscribe to a bunch of bs supplements that they don't actually help them out they're just wanting to make money from the revenue and the personal training there there's plenty of gyms like that but there's other gyms that genuinely transform people's health and fitness journey and it makes a positive impact in their life i believe that my company is revolutionizing the face of an industry. And if you're looking for an opportunity where you can be a part of the next wave, the next generation, I would feel like I'm gonna knock this over. Is this still in the video? Is it in the video? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna knock it over. If you want to be a part of the next generation of great American entrepreneurs, my mission in life is to empower the next generation of great American entrepreneurs and to come alongside young entrepreneurs and change this country together because I believe in entrepreneurship. I believe in business. I think that every single problem in this world can be solved through entrepreneurship and education. I truly believe that. And as a result of my belief and my absolute faith in what I'm doing in my industry, um, that your belief in what you're doing, that is what gives the, you the fuel, the, 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 the actual like ability, the grounds, that's what gives you the grounds to go forward. If you don't believe in your company, if you don't believe in your mission, if you don't believe in your ethics, if you don't believe in the ethics of your company, right? The ethics of your, of, of your corporate leaders. I don't answer to a corporation. I'm privately held. So some big, some big man in a chair somewhere can't tell me what to do because I'm privately held. Nobody owns me. I own me, okay? But if you're working for a corporation, right? Now, if you're working for a company where your ethics and your code of honor has to be challenged, And you have to, if you're forced to believe something that is not the truth and you're, you're forced to tell your clients one thing when you know the opposite is true and you have a problem with that, if you're a high integrity person, send me a email or send me a direct message on Instagram because I think we should talk. With that being said, if you don't believe in what you're doing. You know, I've had literally, literally, I've had at least five people, yeah, five people last year come over and join my team, if you wanna call it that, band, my join my my tribe, my band of warriors from other companies because they came to me and said, Tim, I just I just don't believe in what my company is doing. They're screwing over their customers. They're clearly, blatantly, without any remorse, they're, they're lying to customers and I can't take it anymore because my name is out there. And so 
I see what you're doing and I want to join you. And it's been an incredible ride in 2018. 2019, we are going to take over the South region of America. And the reason why is because we believe that what we're doing is right and not just we believe it so it's right, but we can stand behind the words that we say. So number one is belief. Number one, you have to believe in what you're doing, young entrepreneur. Number two, you have to have a clear road, okay? My mentors, um, the people that I learned from, they sold their last company for four point something billion dollars. And so they've laid out a clear road for me to follow, right? This is step one. This is step two. This is step three. This is step four. This is step 444, but I have a road for you to follow. There's a road map to, to, to me being worth $100 million, right? There's, for, not to me being worth, for our company being worth $100 million, right? There's a road map for us to get our company to a $100 million valuation. There's a, a, there's a clear path for that, and I'm following it. So in order for you to gain speed in your business, number one, you have to believe in what you're doing. Believe that it will tra uh, transform people's lives and it will make people's lives better. Believe in that code of ethics. And, and um, yeah, with that being said, belief. Number two, that clear road. You as an entrepreneur trying to um, be successful in any endeavor, if there is no clear path to your success, that is the equivalent of taking the fastest Formula One car, right? But then putting the pedal to the metal and driving it on a road full with potholes, right? If there's potholes all over the, the, that road and there's no clear direction, there's no clear direction, then it's completely useless because you have to have a clear road to success. That is why I've started mentoring more and more young people because I have a clear cut road to being financially free that young people can take step one and step two and step three and step four. And guess what? At step 40, you're financially free. And without that, it's, it's very difficult. Now, I will say this, this is very important. There might be detours along the road. You know, we always want that road to success to be perfectly straight. It's not always like that, okay? Um, I was homeless for a while. I lived in my car, okay? I, I would shower at, and shave and dress at the 24-hour gym, okay? So I understand what it's like to have ups and downs in your road to being successful as an entrepreneur. But what I've been able to do for the past year or so is to customize and tailor fit the exact like directions that someone needs to um, take in order to be successful. So in order to achieve speed in your business and get financially free as quickly as possible, um, number one, you have to believe in what you're doing. Number two, you have to have a clear road to success. And there's a lot of startup companies that are like, well, my product is actually a completely new product that's never been on the market before. It's not like insurance or, or merchant services or life insurance or, or network marketing. It, it's completely new, right? If your product is completely new, then you need to look at startups in similar fields, whether it's fintech, robotics, whatever. So look at startups in similar fields and look at what they have done um, to be successful, okay? Look at similar industries. With that being said, I could do a whole show on that, but with that being said, let me give you the third and the most important thing to achieving speed in your business. And if you listen to nothing else that I've said today, you need to listen to this, and here it is. Number one, you believe in what you're doing. You believe in your cause, your mission, your ethics, your honor, your product, your company, your leadership. You believe in that, right? check. Number two, you have a clear path to success. You're not with a company that brings you on and is like, here you go, have fun in the field, boom, and like kicks you out and um, you're like, what do I do? I'm struggling. I don't know how to make money. I don't know what to do. Who do I talk to for support? Who do I talk to for help? I literally had a rep text my business partner um, about a week ago saying, 
I don't know what to do. This, the portal that we have, the, the, the tool that we use to give quotes, like it just doesn't work. When stuff doesn't work, like there's no, there's no way to be successful when, when you're not provided the right tools. So you have to have that clear road with the right tools. Um, so clear road, okay? Number three, most important thing. You have to take massive action based on the information and the knowledge and the skills that you have. You have to take massive action and you have to become an absolute obsessed evangelist psychopath about your, you have to become a maniac about your product and what you do. You have to let everyone in your world on your social media, right? On your Facebook, on people you come in contact with, you have to let everyone in your world know that you, what it is that you do and how you can help and the value that you provide. And you have to become an absolute maniac, all in obsessed animal about your product and service in that first year when you're that plane getting up off the ground. Listen, Planes don't fly by going half throttle down the runway. You've got to go full throttle in your business. Here's what that practically means to you. And here's what full throttle practically means on a day-to-day basis. It means you're not out drinking with your buddies on the weekend. You're studying your industry. It means you're not smoking weed with your girl on the, on the couch. You're watching, for, for, for my company, um, it would be the equivalent of watching the hundreds of training videos that we have. It means you're, you're not doing some things, whatever that X, Y, Z thing is, you're not doing that and you're spending all of your energy and all of your time on becoming great at whatever it is, whatever product, service, or thing it is that you do. There is no such thing. I'm going to repeat myself. There is no such thing as a plane flying off that runway, right? That plane flying off that runway and getting up into the clouds is that time in your life, young entrepreneur, that you become financially free. Whatever that means to you, you know, I was financially free at a $3,000 per month residual income, okay? That's not a lot of money. As a matter of fact, that's no money. I say this all the time, $10,000 a month of residual income is no money, but that's where it begins. When you start to make $10,000 of passive income, you can take $5,000 of that and, and save it for real estate investments. That's when your life really begins, when you're making $10,000 or more of passive residual income because you have more options. You can truly begin to make big moves and until your company is there, 20,000, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars a month of passive residual income, until your company is there, whatever level of flight you want to get at, whatever cruising altitude is for you, you have to pull that throttle and slam it down as hard as you can. Put that pedal to the metal in that first year, two years, three years, four years, five years of building that business. And you have to be willing to sacrifice in order to be great. Too many entrepreneurs get into this space and they think that because they see Grant Cardone buying Rolls Royces and because they see Ed Milet flying around on his jet, right? Because they see Ed Milet driving his Ferrari and his Bentley living in a multi-million dollar mansion in Laguna Beach, California, they think that in their first year, two, three, four years of entrepreneurship that they can get there. Guys, by the way, there are people that are... that make it in their first four years, but that's like, those are like the one-off, like Snapchat, like Instagrams, right? Those are the one-off. Guys, 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 listen to me. Ed Milet told me, he said, you know what? I put in consistent max out work and energy 
into my business and I was consistent for decades, decades, decades before I achieve this level that I'm at. So if you want to get to that level, my question is, are you willing to put in that sacrifice and that work for decades to get there? I am, and that's what this vlog is for. That's what that's what my vlogs are for, to show you that I am putting in the work. We're putting in the work, right? We are making, we're making it happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you want to have speed in your business, you have to be unbelievably committed. If, if Listen, I had a lot of my friends, close people to me, people that I considered my best friends, my best friends in the whole world. I had a lot of those people completely desert and abandon me when I made the choice that I'm going to go all in. I had a lot of people abandon me and stop being my friends. We don't want anything to do with this guy because success intimidates people. And when you're trying to like be truly great, average mediocre people are going to fall off in your life. So you can expect average mediocre people to fall off in your life when you decide, hey, I'm going to put in the sacrifice that it takes to build a $250 million company. Being a part of that, I'm going to put in the sacrifice that it takes to build that. Guys, that that $250 million company is not going to come without major sacrifice and work and action on your part. So um, in summary, speed in your business, the quickest way for you to go from being broke in your residual income, no residual income to $10,000 a month is number one, you have to have absolute faith and belief and trust in what it is you're doing and the company that you're doing it with. And if there's any doubt in your mind, you can reach out to me because my company has that rock solid, unshakable, no earthquake can come and break it up, no flood can come, no storm can come, nothing can shake the rock solid foundation that my company is built on and I can prove it and you can send me a message to talk to my team to learn more. So number one, faith in what you're doing. Number two, a clear path to success. And even if you're not in my business or my industry, or even if you're not, you have nothing to do with me, I can help you get that clear path to success. And I will give anyone a free five to 10, 15 minute talk on the phone consultation where I, I'm going to ask you questions for 13 minutes and then give you two minutes that will help you for the rest the, the next two years of your life, okay, to help you get on that clear path, that clarity to success, clear path. And number three, you just have to become an absolute maniac. People literally have to think you're crazy. You just have to become an absolute evangelist. And in everything you do, um, you have to just take massive action and hit your numbers every single day um, all the way until you're at that, that Ed Milet altitude for decades, okay? Become a maniac for the next three decades in your industry, unless you're in a dying industry, but become a maniac for the next three decades in my industry, and I can guarantee you'll be worth millions of dollars. Last thing I'm gonna say, and then I'm out. I was at the Las Vegas airport, um, McCarran International Airport, a couple weeks ago, um, coming back from Las Vegas, the Conor McGregor, Khabib Nurmagomedov fight, and um, a show that we had out in Las Vegas, and I was stretching in the airport terminal, and I was talking to a guy, um, and just, just conversating with him, because I'm a maniac, and I talk to everyone about what I do. And I was conversating with him, turns out he is one out of eight in the, in the entire United States of America, he's one out of eight um, distributors that um, they are in a specialized vertical that 
my company, we specialize in this vertical and he is one of the exclusive distributors and I'm going to go out to California and interview him and um, talk to him about my business. And hopefully, you know, we are able to help a lot of people together, but whether or not we end up helping a lot of people together, the principle of talking to everyone and being an evangelist about your business remains. So I hope that helps you. I hope it helps you get speed in your business. If you need clarity, send me a message and I will try to help you as best as I can. God bless you. Please subscribe to the podcast if this has helped you in any way, shape, or form. And I will talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye.